the greatest magician of all time, Magic Kyle. I'm here to talk about that Magic Kyle 1412 because I've been so excited. I absolutely love Detective Conan, case closed, and this is something just right up my alley. So if people don't know, Magic Kyle is actually one of the characters, I guess we'll say one of the antagonists of the Detective Conan series. And this series is about, and it seems like more like an origin story for him. I don't know exactly where it takes place. Like, if it takes, like, a couple months after, like, Kaito meets Conan for the first time. Like, it's very weird to see what it is, mate. All I know is that it's a 24-episode series and that, you know, maybe at the end he might meet Conan or something right at the end of the series. But I absolutely love, like, the first two episodes from what I've seen so far. And I'm basically going to tell you how I feel about them and pretty much what the premise of them about. Our main character, Kaito Kurova, his, like, father was, like, a great magician and all that. And all he knows is that he, like, died, like, eight years ago when he was trying to pull some stun. Although there's a bit of mystery to that of what happened. And pretty much, like, he, he's been, like, a great magician like his father as well. And then finding out one day that actually his father was the infamous Kaito Kid, like, the great magician thief. And pretty much taking up his mantle for that part and actually just going around and, like, just doing awesome freaking tricks. It's like, if you've seen the Conan series and you know what Magic Kaito or Kaito Kid is, pretty much, then you already know the sort of awesome stuff that this character does throughout the series. Like, does, like, these weird, crazy illusions, and then it's always up to Conan to deduce them. And it's going to be weird. Think about that now. You haven't got, like, the more of the mystery part to it since you get to see more on his side of things. Like, you could see, like, what is happening when he was pulling off some of the illusions. Like, there was definitely... One of the uh, first episodes when there was like a fake Kaito kid going around and he was using like these illusions with the mirror. Normally that would be like a huge built up thing in Conan, but like literally Kaito kid just deduces it in like seconds saying, you know, that's, you're wearing mirrors around you. Like, what are you doing, you fool? So it's very weird to see that from that like point of aspect. I'm normally so used to like the mystery part of things in the series, but I kind of like this, like, you know, he already is so that vastly known in like magic from what his father taught him that he already knows all the stuff. And not to mention, even though that fake one was actually an old assistant of his father, who was actually G, and he was actually, like, helps, it seems like, um, from what I've seen of the Conan episodes as well, that he's actually, like, uh, Kaizo Kid's actually assistant and his helper. He's the one that actually even helps him with his tricks and all that. So that was pretty cool. Not to mention, I liked in the second episode, though, like, that we saw in, like, this one, we saw, like, like, Kaito was actually trying to get a good birthday present for Aoko while he was trying to actually do, like, this big heist of this thing, uh, jewel known as the Blue Birthday. And it's very heavily hinting at the, you know, the black organization and all that, you know, saying, like, oh, well, they're looking for the eternal youth and stuff like that. And I love that they're hinting stuff like that, and even as well that even all the uh, tools and stuff that are made from, like, Kaito Kid, that they're actually made by the Professor Agasa himself. I think, like, those little nods and those little hints in the series is absolutely awesome for Conan fans. And the greatest thing is that even if you don't watch the series Case Closed or Detective Conan, you can actually watch this story, like, without worrying about anything. You won't be confused or anything. You won't be like, do I have to see Conan first? Because there is a lot of Conan episodes. So this makes it a great spin-off that, you know, you don't actually have to see the original series Conan beforehand. But I would, regardless, I'd say highly recommend both watching both of this and, like, Detective Conan because they're both very awesome series and... Kaito Kid makes it one of those special moments in the series, like, for both series. Not to mention as well, I just really did like, like, how he's just acting all cocky in the episode. Like, even when he's getting, like, shot and everything, he's, like, there just trying to, like, fuck with them. And he even, like, put, like, a whole tracer on him. Like, he gave, like, the tracer of the blue birthday to the criminals, so they had to, like, run away. But it's definitely a lot of hinting and all that, you know, to, like, the black organization. And I can feel like maybe throughout more of the series that like, he's going to get more involved with it, like, because he's trying to find who killed his father and, you know, why. So I'm guessing maybe, like, I don't know if this is in a trick because I doubt they've ever really heard this in Conan. I mean, I've seen, like, 500 episodes of the series and there's, like, only 700 um, left of translation. But, like, definitely I don't see, like, it's been revealed yet. But I'm guessing, like, his father was, like, trying to get some of these jewels to help them get eternal youth because that seems like the whole thing of the black organization. So I'm guessing that's kind of what the thing they're going for like, with that. But honestly, I doubt we're going to find out in this series. And as well as I doubt we're going to find in Conan for a long time. But all I can tell you guys is that so far for the first two episodes, it is very, very fun and enjoyable. I'm really enjoying Magic Kaito. And for people as well, I would highly recommend this to you. I think this is a good show. And, you know, who knows? I might want to talk about this even as well since, like, 
Detective Conan even got licensed as well on Crunchyroll. Who knows, maybe I might even try and catch up with Case Girls because, you know, Conan is just that awesome kind of material and so is this. For the first two episodes, honestly, they're both great. I would honestly give these 8.5 to 9s. Like, or the mid if you want that kind of magic awesomeness and all that and being done by A1 Pictures, you're going to have some great animation. You've got some great music as well. Like, I love the opening thing. The opening thing is freaking amazing. That is exactly what I expect from, like, you know, the case closed kind of music. But... Honestly, I give these 8.5s to 9s already. These are very, very nice episodes. If you love this kind of stuff, then you'll love the series. But that's all for me. Also, thank you very much for watching as always. Remember, I'll see you guys.